Dr. Travis Stork's passion is to help people live longer and enjoy healthier lives. This has motivated his career as both an ER doctor and host of the Emmy-nominated talk show, The Doctors. Now the famous physician wants to help you crack the wellness code in his new book, The Doctor Is In, a seven-step prescription for optimal wellness. This is my philosophy on health, and I've been bringing together all the ideas, not only from the show, but working in the ER over the last year. So it was a uh, labor of love, and uh, it's, it took a while, but I'm very proud of it, and I think it has a lot of helpful tips to keep people out of the ER. In your book, you talk about a secret that you believe can help change people's lives. Well, there are a lot of different secrets, but probably the number one secret is that you are the most important thing when it comes to your own health. It's not your doctor, although your doctor is very important. It's not some celebrity health guru. Most folks feel that they don't have power when it comes to their health. They go get a diagnosis, oh well, and I have to take this medicine now, oh well, that's the way it is. But it's not. We do have the power of our own health. You have to be your own health guru. You have to be the CEO of your health. And so I lay out simple steps in this book so that people know if what they're doing is healthy. When they go to the store, are they buying healthy foods for their family? And also I, I break through some of these myths about exercise. Exercise is not supposed to be a job. Exercise is not supposed to be work. It's supposed to be fun. Get out there, enjoy yourself, be active. And instead of, oh, I have to go to the gym today, it's, hey everyone, it's the weekend. Let's all go out for a long walk at the park together. You released a national health warning in your book. That sounds serious. Well, I think I see it differently. I'm an ER doctor, so when I go out and I see the way people are filling their grocery carts, when I go out and I see the way people are ordering their foods at dinner with, with extra fats and sugars and salts, I actually look at that and I think, okay, that person in a few years is probably going to end up in the ER having a heart attack. I can't dissociate those two, and that's that national health warning. What you are eating, will affect how long you live and how well you live. You say there are five numbers that every person needs to know. There are five numbers, and this is the key to the relationship with your doctor. Your doctor is the one that can keep track of all these things, but, but everyone needs to know what their blood pressure is. Everyone needs to know what their blood sugar is. Everyone needs to know what their cholesterol is. Everyone needs to know what their body mass index is. We don't have any symptoms, usually, if our blood pressure is high. You have to get it checked. The same with our cholesterol. The first symptom you may have is a heart attack. So let's get these number ch numbers checked. Let's work in collaboration with our doctor to get them in a good range. And then the last number is really balancing calories in. We oftentimes eat two, three times the number of calories that we should be eating for our, for our body frames. But most people have no idea how many calories they should be eating in a given day. None. So. That's something that people start paying attention to portion sizes, then it doesn't take a lot of effort to get to your optimal weight. It really is portion size equals your size. Dieting is a misnomer. So eating healthy, it's a lifestyle, it's not a diet. Here's what diets do. They're rigid. They have too many rules. You do it for two weeks, you lose some pounds, but you feel terrible. You can't keep it up, so you end up putting those pounds on and then some. So if it becomes a lifestyle where you have a good relationship with food and instead of it being, oh, these are forbidden and these are good, and you look at food as really the symphony of fruits and vegetables and whole grains and all these natural, wonderful flavors, then your relationship with food becomes one that's positive. If we don't take these steps now, you may end up in the ER someday and you may say, I only wish I had done things differently.